Hello YouTube. Um, I'm back here on my stoop. Welcome back. Um, and I'm enjoying uh, a uh, a pipe, my uh, Savinelli Sigla autograph series, I think, with a GLP's Key Largo in. I decided this morning, and I had this in mind for quite a while now, to do something special that reminds me <laughs> on uh, a hot August night somewhere in 1972. I promised that uh, before I came to this theater that uh, we will do some things for you that uh, you won't forget for a while. And uh, that's why <laughs> I think uh, some of you who are my age will, will, will be reminded of, uh, of who that is and where that is. But in any case, um, yeah, so I'm going to do something special today from my stoop, not, the, not a, the a Greek theater or something. Um, so yeah, I've, I've, uh, from my recent videos you will notice that I've received a few GLP's um, tobaccos. All obviously Balkan slash English uh, Latakia Oriental type of tobaccos and I enjoyed them all of, all of them and I made reviews of all of them um, Wastemister, Odyssey, Charing Cross and Gaslight ah. Someone trying to compensate again for something any case um, so yeah so um, what I did tried to, uh, uh, as I said I did some videos on all of them um, but from my stoop today I decided I, w I, I, w I would like to put them all four in a row and do one review on, on all of them and that is what, I, what I'm going to do today so I'm going to review the four that I had in, in, in the meantime, uh, or since, since that first uh, order from, from me, I also bought uh, Kensington, Abington, uh, Key Largo. Yeah, so I've ex expanded my GLP's collection. And uh, unfortunately, Westminster is finished. So uh, that's the only one that I won't be able to to review today but I've got Key Largo in its, in its place so yeah let's uh, let me start uh, start off with uh, with the four GLPs uh, the reason why I wanted to do this is uh, you know smoking them separately you might think you know what's the difference between between them um, they they might they might uh, be very similar and uh, but putting them all, all four in, in a row and, and uh, lighting and, and smoking them uh, it, it can give you a, a, a better a better smoke profile taste profile f uh, to make a, a better um, decision on you know what what they are and so the first one I'm going to do is a GLP's charring or cheering cross um, so very nice uh, coffee that I've got here And this one comes from my Savinelli Deluxe Milano, Deluxe Milano, and it's a shape uh, shape four one three. Now, Charing Cross say it's a traditional Balkan style blend of fine Virginia leaf, richly seasoned with smoky uh, Cyprian Latakia and spiced with the exquisite and exotic tobaccos of the Orient. The classic collection draws inspiration from the great tobaccos of days past. The blends offered are not meant as attempt to replicate 
them, but to pay them homage to capture some of their essence. So that's what, what Tin says. Um, my previous review, I said that in the Tin Latakia, yes, Latakia and a hint of spiciness, maybe even a hint of some uh, zestiness, uh, orange maybe, yeah, orange zest, um, and on the lighting, when you light it, my review said a very well balanced, smooth, creamy, mm, creaminess, and the 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 hint of of the zest of, of the orange zestiness um, does come through also in the in the smoke. Well balanced, I mean by you don't, you know, it's not, it's not as of as as of any of the tobaccos yell at you and you know here I am. So they they're very well balanced. They they give you a nice smoke. It's not of the, as if the Latakia is overpowering, nor the Orientals, nor the Cyprian. Or orient and exotic tobaccos. And um, mm, some some cocoa, some cocoa chocolate in this. Uh, the, the the kind of idea that that pops up is uh, dark chocolate with a orange. Uh, you know, orange in in it. Um, so so yeah, that that's that's the kind of of taste that, that I get from this one. Mm. And halfway about through yeah, around about halfway. As 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 if there's a toastiness that comes through, which is also very satisfying. Right, the next one is Gaslight. Uh, gaslight, I really like, um, maybe for some it will be a, you know, too rich in Latakia, but to me it, it's, it's very nice. Gaslight in my Savinelli Deluxe Milano 6002. My first Savinelli, and since then I've got plenty. Right, Gaslight says a rich Latakia mixture pressed in uh, one ounce cakes on a mystery moonless night alone, a long twisted cobblestone lanes illuminated only by the glow of ancient iron lanterns. You follow a scent as dark as the night itself, the exotic fragrance, hauntingly familiar, compelling, irresistible. Open the tin and discover the mystery. So, yeah, very, very strong uh, Latakia, much stronger than the Turing Cross. It is uh, also saying that it's got layers of mature red Virginias and spiced with Orientals, pressed and aged in cakes. Um, now, for me, again, the Latakia very po uh, uh, popular or uh, prominent here. Popular, yes, for me, prominent. Um, And the, ori the, sm the oriental exotic, fra exotic um, flavors also very prominent in this one. Interesting that um, throughout the bowl, at, at one point, you get a uh, a fruity, fruity flavor that comes through. Um, I see some people say it's peach. I'm not sure whether it's peach.
Mm. So, and uh, when you light it, it's definitely definitely a softer latakia than what you smell in the in the tin. So don't let the tin put you off. The tin is very very uh, bold latakia, but definitely not not in the smoke. Um, much less latakia in the smoke, which. Uh, which mean, means that it's very well balanced and very nice. So, a little bit heavier than the, than the Charing Cross. Uh, not the zestiness. A little bit more oriental type of, of, uh, of flavor. Yeah. Right, that was Gaslight. So let's go to the next one. Odyssey. Odyssey, I will smoke in my Savinelli Extra Dry. Uh, small pipe. Now Odyssey, ooh, clearly different. You see, that's the, the benefit of having them all four uh, in a row. Clearly, clearly different, um, which is also very nice. Right, the, the tin says, bold and assertive, yet eminently refined. Odyssey is dark with Latakia, but that's far from all there is to the story. Wonderful black stoved and matured red Virginias are in perfect balance, while exotic oriental tobaccos weave in and out dancing delicately like dervishes in the ugh, my eyes in the billowy clouds of fragrant smoke mm. each puff is more enticing than the last that's true if you love latakia thank you and other fine oriental tobaccos odyssey is certain to enthrall you right so that's what what GLP says about Odyssey. What did I say in, the, in my previous? Uh, I said. It's Latakia, it's bold. Mm, yeah, but, but also. Uh, uh, um, I got a smell just now which I didn't uh, record. A lemony, a lemony flavor that, 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 that comes through, but only a hint of it. So, yeah. Uh, uh, right, so let's, let's, uh, let's continue with the, with the smoke. But Latakia, uh, funny, although GLP says it's, a, it's bold in, in Latakia, um, my son thought that the gaslight was actually more Latakia than the Odyssey. Um, so let's see. Um, well balanced creamy not that strong latake as you would have thought GLPs get it uh, uh, managed to to um, to balance the latake out with a very very creamy uh, texture without taking away the flavor of latake very appealing And then there's a
there's a hint of sweetness which uh, which is also evident mm. and it's true every puff every puff brings out something something new something which you thought ah, that's new I, I I didn't have that one it's very exciting because you never know what tastes will what taste profile will come through by the way I think I'm going I'm going to make one video and maybe a challenge on uh, on blowing sm uh, rings now the wind's coming up because that would, could be very interesting but in any case yes so this is a uh, this is the odyssey i don't want to put it down <laughs> Um, more, more, uh, more traditional tobacco type of smell that, that, that you also get in the room note. And then lastly, uh, the Key Lago. The Key Lago, um, I will smoke this one in my Savinelli uh, Autograph Sig Sigla. Oh, that's the one that I started. But uh, let's do, do this one now. Mmm. Mmm. Cigar. Right. Deep, earthy and... Yeah. Deep, earthy and creamy. A distinguished broken flake of red Virginia tobacco, small leaf orientals and a measure of Cypress Latakia spiced with velvety cigar wrapper leaf. Key Lago develops throughout the bowl offering a satisfying and sturdy smoking experience with beautifully balanced, richly textured layers of cocoa, dark roasted coffee, leather, and a lively lingering finish. What did I say? Oh, it's creaminess. Um, a creamy a creamy flavor that comes out from the tin. And very nice, very nice uh, leaf or cut. Yeah, creaminess and... Uh, oh, there's something else there. Um, old leather old leather mm. I would I would say so so GLP's uh, description is spot on uh, creaminess old leather and in my review I said the earthy tones yes I can I can get the earthy tones the cigar notes are there so if you've got, if you're a cigar uh, lover uh, and you want to ha have that also in your tobacco but maybe not overpowering or so then Key Lago is definitely the one that you will enjoy because there's just the, the right measure of, of a cigar taste in there. And there's also, right, right now, there's a there's a coffeeness, a roasted coffee bean, maybe even a chocolate bean flavor that comes through. Let's uh, make sure with the coffee that I've got here. It's a pity about this wind, but it's August, so the wind will be there.
Mm. Roasted coffee, uh, Latakia, but less than the others. Uh, a nice cigary, sweety. Well, no, no, the sweetiness is so subtle that you won't even think it's there, but it takes away the bitterness. So just, just enough. And there I got some, some cigar coming through again. Okay, so friends, uh, this video is getting long, but uh, yeah, it is, it is for tobacco reviews. Um, so coming back to them, I would then say Key Largo uh, for, the, for the English Balkan blend lover who also wants to have a little bit of cigar leaf in, less Latakia than the others, but very good um, and well balanced. Uh, Gaslight. Uh, Gaslight is the one with um, is the one that's got a very nice description, uh, rich in Latakia, um, and I got the fruity, a fruity flavour in this one uh, halfway through the bowl. Uh, also very nice uh, English Latakia Oriental that, that also comes through the spiciness. Odyssey, uh, Odyssey was the one um, which is. Uh, uh, well, according to GLP, it's more Latakia, but not to according to me. It had not not that much Latakia. In any case, uh, that's something that I like, so it's not a problem to me. But there was also a very nice um, a creamy balance in, in the Odyssey. Um, and then the first one was the was the Cherry Cross, which had the zestiness, uh, zestiness that, that came through in this one. Uh, also, Balkan blend, uh, also enough Latakia for Latakia lovers, but with a balanced zestiness that comes through in the bowl. So friends, um, from that note, from a long video, but uh, there you've got four GLPs, Balkan English blend orientals uh, compared to each other. Uh, cigar, prominent, so yeah, let me summarize. Key Lago, cigar. The, all of them has got Latakia, all of them has got Oriental idea, flavor, or with all of them you will think you walk in, in, in the Orientals, in, in Syria. Um, but Kilago has got the added cigar. Charing Cross give you a nice uh, subtle sweetiness, uh, zestiness uh, orange in there. Uh, GLPs, uh, sorry, um, the Gaslight give you a fruitiness, uh, uh, creamy fruitiness that, that you get in there, even a, bit, a little bit of, of roasted uh, coffee. And Odyssey uh, gives you the, uh, the the strong, rich Latakia, um, also with a very creamy uh, roasted coffeeness that comes in there. So those are my four GLPs. Uh, next in line will be Abington and uh, Kensington, and then I will also review them uh, together. So thank you for watching and uh, enjoy your your day. Uh, yeah, and uh, subscribe and share and. Uh, yeah, enjoy, enjoy your smoking experience. Bye-bye.